With the campaign for the restoration of term limits still on, members of parliament who were part of the process of lifting the term limits in the seventh parliament have spoken out on why they thought it was a good idea in the first place. And we thought putting that provision would give him a safety area. He leaves so that the president that comes after him knows that you cannot play around with the former president because he can easily mobilize to come back. We're also following our constituents, our voters. I particularly went to my constituents. I asked, I asked them, sincerely. People said yes. And while many insist the question of term limits is not tied to ensuring the current president does not have another go at the job, the discussion always comes back to him. In a report adopted by the summit of the ESC of which he is part, it was revealed that there would be no East African Federation until Uganda restored term limits. According to our then representative, Irene Odida, the president vowed to restore them then. He said, if that is what East Africans want, then I'm willing to reconsider. So if he's saying this in Nairobi to East Africans, that I'm willing to reconsider and restore term limits because East Africans want it, what is he saying here? The issue of the removal of presidential term limits is not on the table of NRM as we speak because nobody has brought it up in any of the organs and structures of the party. While many are holding on to the hope that at 75 the current president will have to relinquish power because of the age limit, that hope just might be lost. It was late last year, it was ED day, there were 12 members of parliament seated in Washington, and this is what he told them. Uh, this, this, this thing of, uh, of age limit in the constitution, uh, I think it should be removed. The government spokesperson says she has no recollection of the president making that statement. Josephine Karunji, NTV.